Welcome to Chilo Gear Propaganda Films. I'm Chris Wright, mountain guide and alpinist, and I'm here today to talk to you about how I pack my pack for alpine climbing. This guy here is my Chilo Gear 40B W slash NWD work sack, and it uh, looks just about the way it would have looked when I took it to Alaska this spring to go climbing with Scott Adamson, and we went to the east face of the Moose's Tooth and climbed a new route we called Terror. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then it looks just about as it would have looked last month when uh, we were in Nepal and we did the first ascents of two new peaks, Lunag West and Hangbuck North via open fire and purgation. So uh, this is the pack that comes with me when I go big in the mountains. This is the stuff that didn't make it into my pack because it's in Scott. So this is the other half of the rack and the other half of the tent. And as a mountain guide, I've always been trained to try and keep everything inside of my pack, so this is as ugly as my pack's ever going to look with all this stuff strapped to the outside, but uh, it's simple to get rid of. This is a 60 meter half rope, this is a climbing helmet, and part of the beauty of the Chilo gear pack is that I can have it fully loaded and have it be really comfortable when I'm doing the approach, whether that's here in the Cascades or for this pack, which only goes into the big mountains, it can be across a glacier, whatever at high altitude, and then it's gonna get small enough that it's good for climbing when I actually want to go big. And that means that it's not gonna hit me in the head. It means it's not gonna have a bunch of bells and whistles weighing me down or a bunch of fiddly bits that I don't want. I've been going into the mountains for a long time now and uh, figured out what I do and don't want on my backpack. And this pack is actually built for going alpine climbing, so it doesn't have any of the junk I don't want. Uh, it has everything I do. So when I'm actually going climbing with it, I'm going to strip it down even more by just pulling off the uh, hip belt. That comes off pretty easily. And I'm going to take off the lid, and that's just going to go inside of the pack. I'm going to leave the sleeping pad on the outside. This thing comes pretty light, but I've really reduced it down to just the two compression straps that I want on each side. I've got a picket, which I've also cut down to make it a little bit lighter. A pair of climbing tools. These guys aren't going to stay on when I'm actually going climbing, so I'll pull those off. And since I took the lid off first, let's take a look at that. Uh, this guy has two pockets, one on the underside, which is really sweet because I can put stuff that I know I'm going to want quick access to, but I don't want to fall out. So in there I've got my first aid kit, which in this case is just uh, a couple high altitude drugs and a roll of tape. I've got my lighters, my knives, stuff that I really don't want to lose. And in the top, I've got uh, some glasses, I've got a headlamp. I've got some food, some cliff bars, some shots, stuff like that, uh, important things. I've probably also got my water bottle in there. And like I said, the lid just goes inside the pack when I'm climbing. I'll open this guy up. And on top I've got my harness, my personal clippy bits. I've got half of the rack hiding under my puppy jacket rock gear, some screws, I've got my crampons, this is actually not in uh, a Dyneema bag, this is Tyvek mailing envelope from the post office, and it's ultralight and completely free, and it's got ultralight and not completely free crampons inside. Uh, and then once we get in here, I've got the ninja pocket right up here, and that's another place where I can put little things that I don't want to lose when I'm unpacking my pack, but that I'm going to want quick access to, so I've got the file for when I blunt my tools, the sat phone mostly because it makes me feel better, uh, maybe I've got a spare pick if I'm going to be doing a lot of mix climbing, and I've got a titanium spork. And then, yeah, we'll just start rifling through here. I've got puffy pants to keep me warm. They're part of my sleep system and good for en route. I've got a big old bag of food. Uh, for me, en route, I like to take um, maybe some ramen, some cliff bars, plenty of coffee. I've got a pair of goggles. I hope I'm not going to use them, but if it gets windy, they're key. I've got a pair of medium weight gloves for climbing in pair of heavyweight gloves for when those get uh, too cold, and then a pair of big Armageddon mittens that I'm hoping not to use as well. I've also got half of a really light tent, a super light 30 degree or 15 degree sleeping bag, depends on where we're going, tent, 
just a shovel blade for hacking out bivy platforms, but I don't bother bringing the handle. A stove. A pair of down booties for sleeping in because my feet get cold. And just one extra pair of socks because that's all I really need because I'm wearing the other ones and keeping these ones dry. And that's it. When I'm climbing, I don't want anything to weigh me down. Like I said, I want really simple um, gear for fast and light climbs. And uh, this is my go-to pack. So that's what's in my pack.